If you're a reseller like me, then you understand that shipping video games can be a tedious task. But it's really important that you get the video games safely to the customer. So what's the easiest way to do that? And the most effective way? Really the one thing you're going to need is a poly bubble mailer. Now I got this one off of Supply Hut. This will be linked in the description below. And for the more expensive games, good old fashioned bubble wrap. So let's take Metroid Prime for example. Metro Prime 3 for the Nintendo Wii. This is about a $15 game. Semi complete with a game disc and with the instruction manual. So what would I use to ship Metroid Prime? Again, the main thing is gonna be essentially what you use for all your packages. And that's gonna be the poly bubble mailer. This is your best friend. Using Metroid Prime as the example, and the only thing you're gonna need, again, is the poly bubble mailer. You don't need anything else. And that's my opinion, people might disagree with that. Let me know in the comments down below. But you're just gonna slip the game inside of the poly bubble mailer, and the poly bubble mailer itself has bubbles in here, and it's gonna protect the game. Here, we we'll slip the game inside of the poly bubble mailer. You're just gonna fold it over once. <clears throat> you're gonna peel this off, of course, when you're ready to ship. And you're just gonna slap that down, seal it, boom, that's it. That's all you gotta do. It's pretty simple. So of course you're gonna bring the weight over. You're gonna wanna weigh it, see what it is. You got three ounces, that's perfect. You're gonna go in increments of four. Um, since it's 3.75, you're gonna round up to four. If it's 4.5, 4.6, anything up there, you're gonna go up to five ounces. But if it's 4.3, 4.2, round down to four ounces. So what if the game is more expensive than $30? What if it's like a $50 game or a $70 game like you see in some GameCube games? There's a different process, essentially the same, but you add a little more to it. For an expensive game, you're gonna still use the same thing. You're gonna use a poly bubble mailer, but you're also gonna add some bubble wrap into it and you're gonna need a pair of scissors. Here's what you're gonna do. Lay the bubble wrap down, have the bubbles facing outwards. So you're gonna want the flat side of the bubble wrap, put the game on top. You're gonna measure it out because you don't want to use all of the bubble wrap to cover it. You're just gonna fold it up to right about there. And then this excess bubble wrap, you're actually gonna cut off. So we're gonna go about right here. Okay, once you got that cut off, then you're just gonna open the game. You're gonna wanna fold this into a square, like so. Put that inside of the case, close it up. You hear that? Exactly, no shaking. So the game's protected, the manual's protected, and so you're just gonna fold this. And if you have some scotch tape, you can tape it over. You can tape this side over as well, the ends. Generally, this will be about, this will be good enough to put inside of poly bubble miller. Sometimes it might fit like this, but usually it doesn't, so I just flip it in like that. And fold it over, seal it, and forget it. That's it. Now let's say it was Rule of Rose or Dragon Ball Tenkaichi 3. If it's over $100, I would personally put it inside of a box, bubble wrap it, of course, and put a lot of packing paper inside of it because those games and those conditions, they matter. But again, let me know what you think in the comments below. Maybe you can teach me something that I don't know. If you gained something from this video, please leave a like. Subscribe because if you like this stuff, then I'll make more videos like this. I also want to start showing videos of me actually going out to deals, yard sales, Facebook marketplace deals, stuff like that. Thanks for watching.